today on Karamo. He ran away from his responsibilities. I have nothing in St. Louis but a bunch of family members, dead friends, and I don't want to deal with it. She wants him back in his daughter's life. I got a call every day. That's your baby! Dog! Dog! That's your baby! This conversation is about to get very emotional. I can't be no father to my kids, bro, when I'm inside. And it leads to a situation no one ever expected. Plus, November, December. All right. November, December. Not December, November. Has she been unfaithful? We found 38 text messages. You won't believe what we find when we unlock her phone. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? <laughs> Welcome to the show. My guests Tamar and Hershon have been trying to co-parent their two-year-old daughter since they broke up. Tamar says Hershon moved out of state three months ago to be with another woman, abandoning their daughter for his pregnant 40-year-old girlfriend. Help me welcome Tamar to the show to find out her story. Hi, hey, Tamar. Hi. You look very pretty. Thank this you. Is a, this is a gorgeous color on you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, you and her, Sean, has, have been together, broke up. Has he ever supported your daughter? No, he have not supported her. He abandoned me when I was four months pregnant. Basically, he said he wanted to see what else was out there. That was his response. And at this point, how long are you all together? We was together maybe a year or two. So two years together is a committed relationship. You're five months pregnant with his child, and he says, I want to see what else is out there. Yes, and when he said he wanted to see what else is out there, I was reading messages from his girlfriend he's with now, which he told me was a family friend. Now she's mm. pregnant. <laughs> so you are aware about this woman that he's with now? Now I am. Yeah, of course. Was he there at all throughout the pregnancy? He was there here and there. They showed up for the baby shower and gender reveal, but not financially. So financially, he's never been there? No. Okay. Would you say that physically he's been there a lot, a little? A little. A little? Okay. Every once in a while. Okay. I know your daughter's too, but does she know who her father is? Yes, she don't even call him dad. She call him by his real name. Really? How did she learn that? Maybe when people call his name, you know. That's how she did it. And especially since he's not there to reinforce, call me daddy, then, okay. He don't even correct her. When I tell him correct her, he just let her do it. So it's not like you want her to call. Uh, Definitely. You, you don't want your daughter to call him by his first name. Definitely. You want her to say dad. Yes. Okay, that's good. Now, something that my producer told me that threw me for a loop is he blocked you on Facebook and blocked you on his phone? He did. He unfriended me and basically abandoned me. And when he's out of town, he ignore our phone calls when we call him, me and the um, other child he has, ignore our phone calls. Because this is the thing, um, I'm trying to, because no matter how I feel about you, if we were in a relationship, mm -hmm. you still are raising my daughter. Definitely. So I have to be in contact with you. I have to be in contact have with to you. Be. Was he trying to have contact with your daughter at all during that time? Um, actually, when he first moved out, now he did not have a phone, so it was kind of hard. And when I found out he was going to move with his girlfriend, I was wondering, why can't you call off her phone? If y'all are happy in a relationship and she's much older, she should understand, can I use your phone to call my kids? Yeah. Why has that not been, you know, the solution? And what was his response? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing. At all. Okay. And how do you feel about him having another woman pregnant? Um, she's gonna find out who he really is as a person because he's not gonna be there. He's not gonna financially be there. She's mm. gonna be doing everything financially herself. So what happened with your daughter's birthday party? Tell me about that. Okay, so he came from out of town to be with her for her birthday, but he did not show up to the birthday party. None of his family showed up. And I had him uh, a ride to go there. He did not pitch in to pay for anything. Mm. She what had he, her birthday party. What did he say party. after that he, why he missed it? His head hurt. That was his excuse, his head hurt. And he also told me to bring him a plate of food. <laughs> he, <t> he told <laughs> me to bring him a plate. He told, sorry, that, so, that, that took a second. Let me compute this. So he said, he said bring me a plate? Yes, he did. <laughs> to, from the daughter's birthday party? Yes, and he did not have no money to contribute, not even a present when she got there. That's what mm -hmm. he does. When the birthday party is over, the kids go to his house, and they st he still don't get a pr them a present or anything. Did any you bring him the plate? 
No, of course Thank not. Thank God. I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I want to make sure. No, sir. Okay. So what was his relationship like with his other child's mother? I'm not sure, because her child is older than mine. But yeah. when we were in a relationship, he would sit there and ignore her phone calls. So that's a pattern. So you saw it? He would sit it. there. I saw it with my own two eyes. Mm. And I would tell him, pick up the phone. Got pick it. Pick the phone up. Got it. Talk to your child. There's no reason why you should be ignoring calls, because at that point, that makes me look like a bad person. Okay. I'm not that person. Pick up the phone. Got it. She wants him back in his daughter's life. Why can't that money contribute to your kids? But will this man refuse to come out? I'm gonna hear you. You can trust that. Anybody who comes on my show, they get hurt. Stay tuned. He abandoned me when I was four months pregnant. He said he wanted to see what else was out there. I know your daughter's too, but does she know who her father is? Yes, she don't even call him dad. She call him by his real name. Mm. And I would tell him, pick up the phone. Talk to your child. There's no reason why you should be ignoring calls, because at that point, that makes me look like a bad person. Okay. I'm not that person. Pick up the phone. Well, so what do you want to happen here today? I want to get on the schedule where he gets hurt every weekend. No exceptions. Every weekend from Friday to Sunday. And I don't want to have to pick her up Sunday at noon. I want to pick her up at night so she can spend all the time. Because I'm already dropping her off Friday at night. You know, so that's not much time with your child mm -hmm. at all. And he's living, he lives in another state now, right? Yes. So it's even harder for him to get there. Even harder because he have to travel back to come watch his kids at his mom's house. Mm -hmm. So well, it's if... like, if you can get money to travel to go be with your girlfriend, why can't that money contribute to your kids? I hear that. When was the last time you saw your daughter? Her birthday weekend, maybe. Mm, okay. He didn't come to the birthday party, but he saw her maybe later on that weekend. Yes. Got it. I'm, I'm hearing a lot from your side, but I think to keep it fair, I need to hear what Hershawn has to say about all of this. So everyone, please help me welcome Hershawn to the show. I see him. What's going on? He's not coming out? He doesn't want to come out? Let's figure out this out. Let me go. Let me go see what's going on. This is what I get. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Why do you not want to come out right now? Because I feel like half of the she's saying is true, but half of it is not. Okay. Well, that, I don't know if you heard the last thing I said is, I actually do want to hear your side to make sure I'm keeping this fair. So I think it's important that you come tell your side. So you ready to share your side of the story? I mean, I will, but it's like, even if I do, I'm gonna probably barely get hurt anyway. I I'm gonna hear you. You can trust that. Anybody who comes on my show, they get hurt. So you will be hurt. So you ready to tell your side? Yeah, I guess. All right, come on. He ran away from his responsibilities. I have nothing in St. Louis but a bunch of family members, dead friends, and I don't want to deal with it. Can today's conversation lead to a breakthrough? I got a call every day. That's your baby! No! No! That's your baby! I want to get on the schedule where he gets hurt every weekend. No exceptions. So everyone, please help me welcome Hershawn to the show. I feel like half of the she's saying is true, but half of it is not. I'm gonna probably barely get hurt anyway. I I'm gonna hear you. You can trust that. Anybody who comes on my show, they get hurt. So you ready to tell your side? Yeah, I guess. All right, come on. Hershawn, tell me, how do you feel about what she's been saying? I feel like half of it's true, half of it's not. Okay, what are the parts that you feel are not true? It's how often I get my kids. Okay. So how often do you see your daughter? I say, like, it ain't been as much as I used to when I did stay in St. Louis. But it can be more. It can be more you can try to be a better father. Because they need you. They need you. I want my daughter to know how it is to have a man treat her. That's what I want. She needs to have her father. This is my biggest problem. Like, not only with you, but with Renaya too, bro. Like, y'all can't try to run my every aspect of my life. Y'all can't try to 
make me stay somewhere that's keeping me stagnant, that's stopping me from growing. If all I have in St. Louis are enemies, dead friends, and bad memories, and okay, trauma. they don't have nothing to do with and your kids. That's me excuses. Leaving, it's me excuses. leaving St. Louis. What about your kids? It's me excuses. leaving St. Louis is supposed to better me. But it's not because you still ask me for it's, money. It's you ask me for money. You're not to happy. Get, to get you're on not the happy. bus. You ask Just me for money. I'm, hey, sir, I'm very happy. So, in your opinion, you feel like you're an active father? Yes. Okay. Define I may not have been there recent, because of these last few months that I've been gone. All of a sudden, everybody just in their feelings because I've been gone for three months. Like, okay, I'm out. I'm but why do you ignore the cause when you with her? Why do you have to step outside and ignore the cause? Why? Why do you go days without? Hold on, no so I gotta call every day. How, how? That's your baby. <laughs> That's your baby. That's your child. She gonna find out who you is. She's gonna find out who you I is. Feel like I, don't have to. I is. feel like I don't have to. Why do you feel that way? Because I just do. Why is it a big deal? So what, what happens if your child gets hurt on the day that you're not calling? Believe me, if she call and say anything is wrong with my kids, she already know I'm on the way. Don't even try to make me, bro, no. So, no. but hold on, this, because this, this is a valid question. I really want to ask this. Because you're saying it's her responsibility to call you to tell you if something's wrong with your daughter. So now if she, and I'm just, I'm going to just ask this. I'm gonna, well, just real quick, because I am hearing you. If she decided to act in the same way you're acting and not call you, would you be upset? Because I, you just said the responsibility would be on her to call you if something happens to your daughter. If she just said, you know what, I don't need to call him. But it's like, how else would I know? Call. Oh. By calling. Thank you. By calling. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. OK. In your opinion, do you feel like your mother has affected your relationship with your kids? My mother don't have to do with nothing. OK. And why do you feel that way? Because she don't. She's keeping after your daughter while you out of town. Why can't my child come over there and spend time with Why don't you them? talk to her about that? You are the father. <laughs> Man, I don't even understand this bro. So why did you move out of state? To, to have a new life. OK. To yeah. get away from everything I just told you. Uh-huh. Responsibility. And you, have a, you have a third child on the way. How do you feel about that? I'm happy about it. You happy about it? <laughs> OK. I was happy, just like I was happy about all my kids being born. Like, what? Why weren't you able to show up to your daughter's birthday? Man, I still told her to come and get me, even though my head was hurting. <laughs> did I not? OK, you, then. You did, OK, but you made OK, every bro. Not to come Do and not you didn't try to make me nothing. seem like First something. All, I'm not. You, I have, his mom I don't have, have a car. No his sister have system. a car. I don't his, have, his family members look, have a car. That's close to Even though I got all these family members, I don't have no support system. Well, they came everything to the first birthday party. Man, everything they I've done vehicle. in my life, everything I got in my life, everything I do, like, as far as my kids or myself, I've done it myself. I have been working on building myself for these last few months. I had got a job when I was in Tennessee. It took me a month or two into being into Tennessee for me to even find a job. It was hard for me to find a job. I'm a young black man trying to find a job in a majority white area. So I'm going to ask you this. I heard that your daughter doesn't call you dad. How does that make you she feel? She called me dad sometimes. OK. She well, just called me. She calls me Shine Shine. My name is Her Shine. Eventually, she gonna do just like my other daughter. My other daughter, she five now. She just called me dad. She called me dad all the time. Listen, um, we have a ping coming in. We have a message from your other child's mother that she sent in from Renaya. Let's see what she had to say. What will the shocking message reveal? I can't be no father to my kids, bro, when I'm inside. This conversation is about to get very emotional. I feel like I'm going crazy and it leads to a situation no one ever expected. You are the father. Get off my stage. Y'all can't run my, every aspect of my life. You can try. She needs to have her father. I heard that your daughter doesn't call you dad. Eventually, she gonna do just like my other daughter. She five now, she just called me dad. We have a ping coming in. We have a message from your other child's mother that she sent in. Let's see what she had to say. I'm the mother of her shine's five-year-old daughter. He doesn't provide for her. He don't buy any clothes, shoes, toys. He don't. 
do anything. He don't send any money. He don't give any money. He don't come to no birthdays, no events. I just want him to step up and be a father. Do better. Y'all go ask the devil to tell y'all information. <laughs> If only y'all knew this, what this woman was Actually, like. Actually, we just need God. you to step up as a man. That's all we ask, and that's the only and problem. And I am trying that's to, if y'all will give me the chance. So what are you going to do? How are you going to support your two kids? Why would you up and How leave How am I going to support my two Why kids without a job? Why would you up and leave job? them? Why would you? You because already Because I wanted to leave St. Louis. And obviously, you're I'm not doing it. I'm not staying nowhere I don't want to, bro. You're not doing I'm not staying nowhere I don't want to. I don't care. So, so listen, I just to understand how it's like I get to decide that I want to better my life, but I also get the opportunity to leave my kids behind. I'm not leaving my kids behind. If they're both saying that they don't have the support as a co-parent, then what is your explanation for that? I don't have one. What do you think you can do to have a better co-parent relationship? I probably do need to call more. Boom, that's a big step. You do need to call more. And why do you feel like you need to call more? Because I probably don't call as much as I should. Yeah. I did not leave St. Louis to like leave my kids. I went because I got, man, I, want to I have you. nothing in St. Louis but a bunch of family members, dead friends, bad memories, bad traumas, and I don't want to deal with it. Every, okay. every day I'm in St. Louis, I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay. I can see this. This is pain right now. Like, bro, I lost so much in St. Louis. Here, here you go. Here you go. I lost all my friends, bro. Yeah. My gr the real reason, like, after my grandma died this year, bro, I was like, I'm, I'm done with St. Louis, bro. I don't want to come back. Yeah. I don't care about St. Louis. Yeah. Only thing I care about in St. Louis was my kids. That's it. But, man, I can't, I can't be no father to my kids, bro, when I'm inside. Boom. Okay. okay. Like, I got too much on my mind. I got to look over. Whenever I'm in St. Louis, I got to look over my shoulder every five minutes. Got it. Do she know about that? Do, she, do yeah. Renaya know about that? I do. You, you tell well, me yeah, about I that. tell her. I, she knows. My other baby mama, she knows too. She don't give a She told me that. She told me she wish I died. Yeah. She been telling me that down there since my first daughter was born. Got it. I understand. I hear you. My family they don't, like, they know that some of the things that I've been through, they, bruh, it ain't no, man. Did you live with your mother their entire life? Man, I was in foster care from 13 to 18. Didn't go. Got it. Okay. 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 So, what I'm not going to do right now, and this is why I said I'm going to hear you. I do believe you need your support. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that, unfortunately, this man right now is telling you that he can't be there as you need him to be right now because he's still trying to work on himself. And he's running. He's acknowledged, which I appreciate you acknowledging, that you know you need to call more and that you know you need to do more. Because I've had many men sit in front of me and be stubborn and be like, now nah, I'm not doing that, you do it, it's your responsibility. You're acknowledging you need to do more. But I also understand that you're saying that I need a lot of help. What are you doing to get that help outside of the person you're dating? Man, I've just been doing spiritual work. Okay. All right, so this is what it is. You need to get, while you're doing the spiritual work, you need to have some mental health work. So, if I give you therapy, would you go? I don't know, man. Well, no, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. You said that you want to figure out, you, sometimes it's hard to be a human being. And I've been in a dark place before, I know what that feeling feels like. And sometimes when we're trying to figure it out, but yet we're still being bombarded, it doesn't, it, it just seems like there's never gonna be a day that you can get over, that you can get better, that the sun's shining. Having somebody who can talk to you and give you some tools outside of me just giving you something for 35 minutes can actually help you. Because the thing is, is that, to be honest with you, I can't help you to be a better co-parent right now until you have the tools to be able to start to heal the things you're dealing with. And that's just the real. I don't know. I just feel like I've, I've been through therapy before, and it, it didn't help me. What I'm trying to offer you is you being a grown man, being able to talk about the pressures, talk about what's going on. Will you accept the therapy? Probably. Okay. Is there a, a program 
because he, I want him to get his GED and I want him to, that's yeah. the start, because yeah, yeah, getting yeah. your GED is what's going to get you more opportunities first. I've see, been, I've see, been telling see, him. all these things that now come out also make sense. You know what I mean? And this is and and this is not to shame your experience or anything, but like I understand now what's hard for you to not have a job. And you're not getting a job to support the kids. And these are not excuses, but if we're going to really realistically look at you as a young black man and what you're dealing with, and not saying you're not dealing with a lot, because I know you are. So I want to be clear. This is not to say, oh my gosh, like he's just absolved. I understand. But I also understand if you don't have a GED and you're trying to get a job, if you're dealing with death and grief being in foster care system, there's a lot of pressure on a 23 year old man that it's up here and in here, it's probably killing you every day and it came out of your own mouth that it's killing you. You gotta get help. And I think there has to be a bit of patient and grace mm -hmm. in the fact of knowing what he's going through. He can be the father that your daughter needs. Definitely. So this is what I need. Can you commit to her that while you're working on your mental health, that you will try your best to communicate more with her about, with your daughter? Can you commit to that? I try to communicate more. So I'm gonna send you to therapy. Please. You want it? Please. You want it? Good. Come here, you took a big step, Gary. I'm a hug, man. You took a big step. Come on. I told you I was gonna be fair. I'm gonna hear you. I'm gonna follow up with y'all continuously because you need more steps. Mm -hmm. He, but he's made a commitment. So, <laughs> oh, so you're sweet. Okay. It's not about me. You wanna, you wanna give him a hug and give her a hug. From this first step, you're gonna be in a journey that's gonna help both y'all to heal, Definitely. and y'all gonna be better co-parents, all right? Mm -hmm. I wish y'all both the best of luck. I'm gonna stay in touch, all right? Yeah. All right. We'll be right back, stay with us. November, we got serious. That happened in December. November, December. All right. November, December. Not December, November. Has she been unfaithful? We found 38 text messages. You won't believe what we find when we unlock her phone. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? My guest Shonda is tired of her fiance Steve accusing her of cheating. She wants me to unlock her phone to prove to him that she has nothing to hide. The stakes are high for this couple because Steve says he will walk away from the love of his life if he finds out she is cheating. So everyone, please welcome Shonda to the show so we can hear her side of the story. All right. Hi. How are you doing, Shonda? May I have a hug? Hi. Nice to meet you, Shonda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. So, how long have you and your man been together? Roughly since September, but mm -hmm. we got serious November 2021. Got it. And how would you describe your relationship? I'm sorry. No worries. No worries. This is rough for you. Because the accusations of cheating are it's just taking a, a toll on you. It, to know that I'm not doing anything. Yeah. And how long have these accusations been going on? Four to six months. Four to six months of consistent accusations. And you've been together for about 16 months. Yes. So that's, I mean, that's, that's quite a amount of time to be accusing someone. Why do you think he thinks you're cheating? I put Life360 on our phone when we first got together. That's the app where you can use to see where someone is, sort of like a, your location yeah. app. I thought it started like trust, but it did. It did the opposite. Yeah, it did the complete opposite. So my producer told me that he thinks that there was a moment you were at a restaurant and that you were on a date and he's been accusing you of that moment. Tell me about that. Right, he was like, well, I tracked you mm. and you you said you were here, and when I called you, I waited till you got home, and you said that you were at home all day. And I was like, no, I didn't. I didn't say, I, I, I don't lie to you, so why would I start today? Mm. Other than the accusations, how is the relationship? Is it good? Oh, yes. So it's perfect. Uh, it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. So you're happy, I'm other than these four happy. to six months when he accuses you? 
Yes. Do you trust him? I trust him to the fullest, and I just expect that in return. Yeah, makes sense. I trust him to the fullest. I don't see any infidelities in him. He don't have a lock on his phone, but I do, but he knows the code to my phone. I feel like if I lose my phone, they have access to it, you know, so. So that's why you put the, that's the why I have code it. on. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever cheated on Steve with another man? No. Never. Never. Never, not once. Not once, not even a text. Mm -hmm. The thing that's interesting to me about this story right now is that you're telling me he has access to your phone. <laughs> so he has access to your location, he has access to your phone. So you're giving him everything that a relationship who has trust issues, you're saying, here's full transparency. Right. So where's the disconnect? <sighs> you're telling me. Oh, okay, girl, yeah. I guess that's why you're here. I, I hear you. Right. Yeah, I get it, girl, okay. <laughs> Well, listen, everyone, I'm here with Shonda, who wants to prove to her fiancé that she is not cheating. It's time to meet her fiancé, Steve. So, everyone, welcome Steve to the show. How are you doing, Steve? How are you doing? Nice to meet you, sir. Please take a seat for me. So, you were standing backstage listening to this. How do you feel about what you just heard? We like, we've been together often talking and like November 27, we've been together. So after that, it's just like- You got uh, together November 27. Yeah. I mean, that's that union that- Yeah. We, we formed that bond on November 27. Got it. Okay. So after that, then come February, her phone don't work no more. Mm -hmm. That was last year. Now come this year, the phone don't work no more. Why mm -hmm. don't ring on February? Mm. Wow, Steve. I'm serious. Your phone ain't running two Februarys. But you have access to it, though. I'm not the peeper. I'm not going to look for something. Okay, but it's there my... to see. You wouldn't got a marriage license. Tell me about this. You find your soulmate, you know, you, you try to, okay, I'm going to look past that. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't got it because you're like, even though I have these trust issues, I'm going to go ahead and look past it. Right. But you didn't pick but a date. But then, yet. but now, let me go to this now. The reason I think she's cheating because of her actions follow the past relationships. Okay. Well, she's doing something or not, but her actions tell me that she's doing something. Okay. And what are those actions? Coming up missing. Coming up missing. Leaving this, don't let me know something, or tell me, why don't you look through the app? So like, you, you, the so you tell my producers, these are the exact things, reasons why you think right. she's a cheater. Yeah. Because she locks her cell phone. Right. What else? Keep your cell phone with her. Keep your cell phone with her when you sleep. That cell phone be right there. So she just, you say she cuffs her cell phone? Cuff, what? Everywhere she go, the cell phone go. But this, so this, because this is a real question. It's, you're saying she locks her cell phone, but you have the code. I don't have the code. It's when I ask for the code. I but don't she's, want... she's told you the phone, the code. Yeah, I, yeah okay, she's told me. And you me. decided not to memorize I, it. Right. But then. I don't want to, what just I want to memorize that. it for but, yeah, but, but, but if you, if, if I'm trying to trust you, why would I need to memorize something I'm trying to trust you? But you don't, don't trust her. Okay. But you don't but trust her. Okay then, at the same time, I'm trying to trust her. I'm trying to, yeah, I don't, but I'm trying to. So I don't want to go peeping through a cell phone. Mm. I don't want to be keep prying, because if I find something I want, then, you know, it's all it is. How, how do you know the signs of cheaters? Is it just because Because the people... I used to be a cheater. You used to be a I cheater I used to yourself. be the cheater now. Okay. I used to put my cell phone, I used to lock my cell phone. Okay. But it's so all I if can we do. Find, if I find something in this phone today, Bye. what is it? Bye? You're done. Adios. You're done. I'm gone. You're done. Because I don't, I don't have time for that. And I've been through that already. And if we don't find something in the phone today, what do you do? I got to kiss her feet, choke on the toe or whatever. <laughs> because you said you want it, right? Okay. I said a public apology. It's the same thing? That's what you mean? Well, listen, everyone. Um, we are here to figure out the truth of this situation, so we will unlock this phone after the break. The moment of the truth is here. Has she been unfaithful? We found 38 text messages. You won't believe what we find when we unlock her phone. We've highlighted the areas of these texts that you can see. Is there any way this couple can get married after today? You are the guy. Get off my stage. Why do you think he thinks you're cheating? Girl, I'm sorry. No worries.
worries. No worries. This is rough for you. Because the accusations of cheating are it's just taking very, a toll on very, you. It, to know that I'm not doing anything. He knows the code to my phone. Have you ever cheated on see with another man? No. Never. If I find something in this phone today, Bye. what is it? Adios. You're done. I'm gone. Friends, we are here with Shonda and Steve, who are engaged and are having trust issues in their relationship. Steve is convinced that Shonda is cheating on him with another man and wants me to unlock her phone to get the truth. So the moment of the truth is here. I'm ready. Are you ready to unlock this phone? Let's get to it. OK. Um, is there anything that you think that I'll find in this phone? Um, some words, some mess, some letters. Naked pictures, it could be anything. So you do think all that's going to be in the phone? Be anything up in yeah. there. Is there anything that you think that we'll find in your phone? Is there anything that you want to say After to him before? November 2021, no. Got it. Well, the results are in. Are you ready for this? <laughs> all right, so we went through photos and <sighs> also text messages in your phone. When it came to photos, we found one lewd photo mm -hmm. of someone else's genitalia that was text to you. Mm -hmm. It was text to me through my ex-best friend. Mm. OK. The one lewd photo was sent to you by your ex-best friend. OK. Um, how do you feel about that? Do you know about that? No. You did not. OK. Do you want to say anything or tell her? Yes, it was someone that she had encounters with, not me. Okay. All right, so when it came to phone, when it came to your phone, we also have, we found two saved pornographic videos sent to you as well via text. Yep, same girl. This is the same woman that was sending you. Yeah. So they were saved on your phone. Why didn't you delete the photos? Or the videos? Mm. It was for her safety mm -hmm. purposes, but since we're no longer friends, I didn't, I just didn't think to delete them, mm -hmm. you know. So now, now what if I went in your phone? Okay, but it's under but her. It wouldn't have been on her, it'd have been on you though. I wouldn't have looked at it like that. Because you're saying she sent it to you. Yeah. I wouldn't have looked at saying. it like she that. Sent it to, but you could see the text at that, leading up to This is somebody that, oh yo, she, oh yo, you can up. See, you could see why she sent me the text though. She texted me, you know. So when it came to text messages, you brought that up. Yeah. We found 38 text messages that are sexual in nature between you and the other person who is not Steve. And so can we get the, the evidence back? Now, these texts went as far back as December of 2021, and you said since November, correct? Oh, I don't remember that. Well, we have the text. I don't remember that. Well, we have the text. So I'm assuming these, this is the same best friend. So I'm gonna let you read these texts. And I think we've highlighted the areas of these texts that you can see. Would you like to read so them out loud, is, uh... Shonda? Mm -hmm. That's So you're saying that these texts, you know who this is? Yeah. You know the woman that sent these mm -hmm. texts? Okay, so you're aware that you and this woman have been sending these texts? Or yeah. The, okay, the communication. Who is this person to you? She grew up with me. She grew up with you. Okay, then. Yeah. And so you're aware of what's in these texts? Yeah. Okay, then. So you, you can't see why I, it could be suspicious? Yeah. Okay. You can't see do, why. Do you, are you okay with me reading these texts? No, I don't. I mean, you give it to him for his purposes, but I don't think you. Because mm -mm. it's probably, you know what I'm saying, that person, you know what I'm saying? We're just, yeah. We'll just keep okay. like that. Not just well, the, the, the texts are and asking for sexual favors, and you are responding. Yeah, I'm responding, but... It's not like. It's not like it's what? Not like what? It's not like that. Well, it was not like you ain't cheating either. Well, can you explain? Same thing. Can you explain that to him? I can explain it because mm. Mm -hmm. she wants you. Right, just like everybody else, pretty much. Like, I mean, he knows that though. He knows we are the most. Nah, see. <laughs> Nah. You are the most... Okay. Nah. My question is, I understand this other person has come to you. And so that explains the photos, the things that were sent to you that you did not reply to. But with the text messages, you did respond. 
I responded. You did respond yes. continuously. Right. So that is Willingly. where that's where the explanation needs to happen because it's one thing to say that this person came to me, mm -hmm. but there's another thing to respond. Right. So how do you explain the responding to it? Even if you're saying nothing happened, you responded to it in a way that made it seem as if something right. could happen. Right. Just the conversation. That's the best I could put it. But well, it it's just for him. It's not it to me. It never happened. <laughs> It never happened. Well, do you feel like then you're emotionally cheating on him? At that point, yes. At that point. You still, then you still do it. You still okay. emotionally cheat on him. That was freshly done. Oh, fresh in my eye. November, we got serious. That happened in December. November, December. All right. November, December. Not December, November. Can this relationship be saved? Well, it it's never him. It's not it to me. It never happened. <laughs> You won't believe what happens next. Steve, the ball is in your court. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? The results are in. Are you ready for this? We found one lewd photo mm -hmm. of someone else's genitalia that was text to you. We found two saved pornographic videos sent to you as well via text. We found 38 text messages that are sexual in nature between you and the other person who is not Steve. It was, we, we, we got serious in November, okay? So have you cut contact, well this, these messages started in December. Right, so did you find anything after that? Yeah, they were continuous through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So have you explained this to the person that you're texting to that you're in a serious relationship? She knows. Okay. Yeah. So then, if she knows, then why is still that those texts? That was text? then. Like I said, November, we got serious. That happened in December. Okay, like... November, December. Okay. <laughs> All right. November, December. Not December, November. But it was fresh, though. We were fresh. And? What that means? So what that means? It didn't happen. So I should've went and slept with somebody when we were fresh. But it didn't That's happen. That's what you're saying? <laughs> I didn't sleep with nobody. <laughs> I'm saying, though, Shonda, what you're saying. Shonda, what do you want to happen with this relationship? Because I want to hear your point of view. I, I really do want See, to hear your point I of view. I really want this what? to work. Like, okay. I, how are you, you, you hiding the line? I'm not hiding anything when you could have saw that. How, how would that be? If he could have saw it, then why wouldn't you just tell him ahead of time? And that's my, is this And I question? did. I told him. She came at me with, and another friend. But I told her about, I told him about the friend first. He left you out. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Love you out. But did you tell him that you were also responding? No. It's one thing to say, okay, well, I'm telling you about this person and that they're, they're approaching me, but it's another thing to say, they approached Behind me and I also responded to I it. wanna. Oh, God. I do believe nothing physical happened. Mm. I honestly do not. Steve, how do you feel about what was found? I feel like, a, like I've been saying all along, it's a lie. Well, she's saying that she did, she, you were honest and said that at that time you were emotionally cheating. Yeah. Yes. So she's admitting, she's saying now that she was emotionally cheating at that time, but there was nothing physical nothing. that happened. Nothing. I can give you my and phone, you won't find no conversations emotionally nothing. Okay. Emotionally nothing with no female. And I got a hundred females in my phone that called me to, and don't touch none of them like that. Do you want to apologize you know to him that. for that? I am so sorry. For not telling you. But you have access to my phone. So even though you're giving him access, by not communicating the full details, as you said you didn't, you can see where the trust issues have started because of you. Yeah. Steve, the ball is in your court. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? So now I got to go sit and reevaluate all this again. So that means you want to stay. Well, that, the, the good thing is, is that he's telling you right now that he does want to stay. So he wants to stay and reevaluate, which means for you, be more transparent. So even though he has access to your phone, you need to talk about the details of the things that could be in your phone because he's clearly telling you he's not going to search because it's one thing to say, you got access to my phone, which I almost fell for, but we didn't realize that there wasn't transparency there. So you have to be transparent. And I think the transparency will allow him to maybe grow where y'all can work it out. But until you do that, there's always gonna be this issue. I do wish you good luck because your, sec your sixth sense, the, the gut feeling you had to some degree was true. She admitted she emotionally cheated. Yeah. So you know. And now that you have the information, I wish you the best of luck, all right? I wish you both the best of luck.
All right, everyone, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.